Welcome to the second part of the Schoology training. You should have already completed the self-paced course and now you are moving on to preparing for your first day of school. As you see, I have logged into Schoology and I see my dashboard. These are my recent activities and here is my course dashboard right here. These are just some things that we can see that have been posted. Now, we want to navigate to our course. We want to prepare for the first day of school. So I'm going to navigate to my test section. You will navigate to your first period class. Once I enter my class, I want to make sure that I have materials posted for the first week of school. To do this, I've already created a first week folder. But to create a folder, I can simply, under Materials, go to Add Materials and Add a Folder. So I'm going to name this First Day of School. You can use any file structure that you would like. Once I've created my folder, if I want it to show up at the top or rearrange, I should simply be able to drag and drop my folder to the top. So now that I've created my first day of school folder, now I need to add things to that folder. So I have several options. I can add assignments, I can add test quiz, I can add assessments, I can add a link to a video or tool from YouTube. I can add a discussion question, which is that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a discussion question. And I'm going to ask how was your summer, anything like that, title. And we're going to do a due date because we want it due today on the first day of school. So we're going to do August 10th. And that'll give them to the end of the night. We can even enable grading if we want it on this. And we're going to create. So students, when they go to that first day of school, so they have gone to your course. And they will see your first day of school. They'll navigate here. And now they'll see the question, how was your summer? They can click on this and answer. You also may want to attach additional materials for, that you would normally do on your first day of school. You can also import materials from the school's PLP if you would like. To do that, you'll simply go to Add Materials, Import from Resources, Select Group, You'll navigate to Montgomery Public Schools. Yours should only have your school and Montgomery Public Schools listed. Select Schools PLP content and say I'm a sixth grade teacher. I will navigate to sixth grade and I teach language arts. So I drill down and I can choose lesson one. And also be aware that anything that has an AK, that is the answer key. So we want to post a reading log. Their read it, their show it, their words. And all of those activities are what I want to post for lesson one for sixth grade language arts. So I'm going to import those. Once I do that, this message comes up. We have made the connection for MPS and I will click import. Now I have my question, how was your summer? They have a reading log, a read it, a show it, a read it, and a watch it. Here's some, act those are the activities they have posted for today. Also something you may want to do for your live classes is to schedule a conference. To do that, you'll navigate to the conferences button on the left hand side of your screen. Once I navigate to the conferences, it will allow me to schedule a conference. To create a new conference, you simply click Create New Conference. 
this conference name is going to be first day. And my start time will be the time that I want that to post. So this is for August 10th. I'm going to go ahead and schedule it for August 10th. And at 9 a.m. is when my class is going to start. So I can hit create. Now I have a conference scheduled for the first day of school. When you are ready on the first day of school to launch your conference, you'll simply select start conference like this. And it takes a second to load your conference. And once it is loaded, they'll give you a test to test your microphone. And you'll hit allow. And it'll do a simple test to make sure you can hear. And then to make sure you start recording your conference. And now you can simply share your screen. You can have a conference, you can do different things and, and communicate with your students. You'll be able to see your students. You can also do breakout rooms in here. We'll provide a video for you more on how to do conferencing later. So I'm going to end this conference because this is just a practice. And yes, I want to end and it's going to say yes. So now my students have first day of school materials posted for them to see. They have a conference that is scheduled for them in conferences. And now it says there's none because I've already completed that conference, but I can, they can also navigate to the completed in any recordings that have been made that have processed this. These haven't processed yet will be available and the students can simply re-listen at a later time. These recordings are available for seven days for them to review. So as for this PD, make sure, the recap, make sure to have something posted for your first day. You may want to record a short video of yourself and post it on here um, as a material to welcome them to your class. You will want to schedule a conference. Uh, according to your schedule, your live schedule for students, and have materials and the conference posted. So that is what you will want to have for your first day of school. And that concludes our PD session.